What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am doing what I promised you guys I was going to do and that is a kayak blind system. So one thing I was actually thinking I was like that would be lazy is just taking my chair out and putting my layout set like my layout blind in there. And I was like no that would be lazy. I mean it would work but that would be lazy. So my second to this is I am going to take my kayak and some PVC and I am going to make a blind for this sucker so part of the plan I'm gonna go ahead and show you is right here I got some PVC cut already I forgot I was gonna record this that's why I already have it cut so PVC right here and then I am going to run this all the way over here so then it will be like this mounted up there then it'll just ride right there. And then when it, for transportation, you just pull it out of there, put the bolt in there, and then just set it down or throw it in the back of your truck or whatever. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm actually gonna do like a time lapse because I wanna listen to some music while I'm doing this. So I'll go ahead and do a time lapse and I'll stop and show you guys like halfway point and whatever. So stay tuned. So I got the first part done. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's gonna work out pretty good for me and out in the marsh and in a kayak, which is gonna be nice to conceal myself and be able to get into some of these bigger ducks. So check this thing out. So I got, I didn't have long enough bolts. So they, I'll have to get longer bolts for this. So I just had to go in there, but what? The plan is, is you have it set up like this, ducks come in, <coughs> shoot them, lift this up, flip it down, oh, on that. bam, and then I can kayak without it in my way, or when I'm on my way out, then you just pop it back up, and then I'll have material flipped over it. And then I'll have a slit, so I'm gonna cut the material. And then I'll, I'm gonna figure out something because I'm gonna be sleeping in this thing. So I might keep like the little flap to be able to just like, uh, with the clamp things, I actually have them right here with these right here. So with these, I can just clamp the material to it like that. And I'll be able to sleep with no wind or nothing in this baby. So I'm gonna keep, keep on with the time lapse to add the materials. To it so stay tuned so this is the material that i'm going to be using it's like a camel material so it's like that it's pretty sweet i actually got it from my girlfriend's grandpa that used to be a duck hunter so that was pretty nice of him to be able to give that to me and i'm going to be able to put it to good use and shoot some ducks out of this kayak because of this burlap and making myself a blind out of it but i did realize something that it is not long enough so I'm going to have to figure out something because it isn't long enough. I probably won't be able to do the slit like I wanted to. I'll have to cut it in half and leave myself open right here and then figure out something. Cause I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna split this thing in half so then I can have like overhang blind material and then it'll just be like split in half, you know? So it, you guys will see, stay tuned. I decided to use a little bit of my other material. So this is actually gonna be like some type of like a permanent. So when I'm in here like this, I can either be like this and be able to see both sides and I still kind of got a background and then I can pull this up like this, have my gun sitting right here cause it's camo and then have this as like a rest. But I'm also gonna be wearing camo. So what I was thinking is that I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of tuck it like that so I can be comfortable. You never know, get a little cold, bam, got a little blanket like that. So for breakdown now, it's gonna be a little bit different since it's a little tighter. It's gonna be the same thing, but um, I realized I'll be able to paddle with this. So this is gonna be super easy. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, what the plan is for sleeping wise. All right, so bring this out, sit down like that, then, so 
So I got my two clips like I was telling you, so just like that. So I'll sleep like that. Got a nice little relaxation. You can still see uh, the burlap's gonna be kind of nice with this because it's gonna be like a wind blocker. So that's gonna be nice. And bam, I got a little hand access here. Shoot, I can even watch birds from here until they come in. And then, bam! Got myself a little layout blind out in the water. That's kind of how I got this set up. It's like a way out one. Uh, but for takedown now, for like when I'm ready to go, just pull it in. Pull the material. The burl up. Pull this up. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm super excited to get it out there and be able to use this thing. It does look super, super good, especially with this. Thanks to the outdoor store, they had this material. Uh, that is super great. I was gonna use that on something that we'll talk about later, but that's another thing. So I'm gonna hopefully use this a few more times. I also, We'll show you guys on the water how I'm gonna be laying out there and stuff. I got some few things that I have that some of you waterfowlers will probably know what it is uh, to keep myself a little bit warmer and stuff like that. But that's just a layout now. That's how I made it. So we're gonna go ahead and let this sit. I got two days before it opens up again. So we're all set and ready to shoot some ducks now. So I'll see you guys on the water, which will be like 12. So. It's not gonna be like super excited. I'm just gonna be on the water sleeping. So see you guys there. All right, so we're out here. Um, we're just at the dock. Oh crap, I forgot to get the goose decoys up to set them on Collins. So Colin joined me. Um, here, I'll do this somehow so you guys can. So Colin joined me. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the kayaks, how we got it set up, how we're gonna make it out to the water. <laughs> so it's pretty crazy. So there's my bag of decoys. Got some woodies, mallards, teal. And then run a light up there. And then my gun case tied down because we're gonna be in the dark. My life jacket, my coat, my blind bag, which you can't see under there. And then Colin's kayak. We built something real quick. We're gonna have to put some stuff to cover up the PVC. But that's the setup. I'll see you guys when we get everything all set up. Yeah, it was. Huh? Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm gonna start tossing out some ducks. All right guys, me and Colin made it out here. We're all brushed in. We think we're good enough, but we won't know until it's kind of light out and we can see ourselves. But seems pretty good in the spot we got. We got big, this time an actual big U with a five pack of geese. And it's, it's feeling pretty good. If you guys can't hear, you guys probably can't hear, but the woodies and the mallards are going crazy. Hear the mallards? Oh yeah, it's gonna be game on when it's sun up, but it's only one o'clock, so we'll see you guys in, what, five hours? Yeah, five hours. Peace. We slept for a little bit. Uh, it's six o'clock now. Bunch of bolts, bolts, geez. Bunch of boats rolled in. Uh, it seems pretty good. Still, still hearing a bunch of woodies. Teal and mallards, so. Hope it turns out pretty good. I mean, the blinds are set up pretty good. Like we got a nice cover, both sides, and then that's my front. Yeah, you can't see Colin, but he's right there. He's just chilling. Say hi. What up? <laughs> but we got an hour left. 
time too late, so. <sighs> just gotta kill some time. I'm already now. I just wanna start to see that some ducks lying in our spread. I already flared off one person that I thought they needed to come over and hunt by us. So I flashed them with my light and I was like, get your own place, we been sleeping out here, boy. That's what we do. So hopefully it pans out. What's really happening is we're getting stopped on both sides. Yep. Hand shot at. Good nice shot. What is that? What do you think? He's dead now. Two more, two more, two more. Right Where? Here. Where? Right here. Where's right here? Oh. Try him, huh? He's a little slow. I got him. Oh. <laughs> That's how he's kind of boss. Nice pose. What? I better go get him because I don't know if he's dead. Uh, he looks very good. I'll grab yours too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want my push pull. What's that noise? I was, yeah. Why does that sound so weird? Why does this sound so weird? Uh, I'll get him. He's still alive. Actually, that might be a, that's a freaking, what is that called? You know what it might be? What did you say that I, what we weren't gonna, what did I say we weren't gonna shoot today? I think that's what it is. Yeah. We can shoot them. We can shoot them.
<laughs> well, it's been a slow morning. Kind of sucked. Uh, we definitely learned something that we're not going to do the sleeping in the marsh because what ended up happening is people saw that we were here because we were shining our lights at them and they ended up picking the points on both sides of us so the sad part was is these birds were going to work into our decoys but the guys on our left and our right side were both sky busters so they were picking off the birds before they could even work so it's kind of sad so everything that we had to shoot was sky bust and didn't even get a shoot nothing that works in the decoys and that's what my favorite part about duck hunting is when they work into the decoys but it's sad when you don't you're not able to do that because uh, you don't have real duck hunters out here they're just out here to shoot stuff so well hopefully we get into some stuff well it's a little later in the day uh, we didn't get hunting till about 10.30 by loading up by the time I got home, probably 11.15. I slept, it's now three o'clock. I overslept, I wanted to do a little afternoon shoot, but I gotta do some stuff still. So we got the one bird. I'm gonna go ahead and clean him up, put him in some marinade. Uh, look at that brown, I really love that brown. So that's kind of cool. But that was, yeah, it was a fun hunt. I'm hoping that I'll be able to shoot more than that but I did learn something from going out today is that I'm probably not gonna be I'm definitely not going out sleeping on my kayak all all through the night because I was thinking with it be an opener that they would I would beat the crowd which I, we definitely did we beat everyone out there but what happened is they uh, we're shooting on both sides of us, so and they were sky busters. So every bird that wanted to start working in got sky busted because they were picking them off before they would start working into our decoys. So it was a little sad, but it was a cool experience. And I shot a duck I haven't shot before, so I mean, there's a positive out of the whole outcome. I just wish it went a little bit better, but it's public hunting and it's hunting in general. It's fun though. I do love it. I do love waterfall season, but it sucks when you put in that much effort and then someone just ruins it for you. But that's whatever. All right, guys. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, go ahead and smash the like button while you guys are down there. Go ahead and smash the red button. So thank you all for watching today's video. I'll see you guys on the next hunt. Peace.